Now, first of all, what we'll do is we'll create test table space and user for the activity. We are creating a table space tbpitr. Uh, this is our data file and size we are giving 10 MB. Okay, so let us check our database. It is up and running. Great. Let us connect to the database. Scale plus slash SSTBA. Select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database prod db great now we are creating this table space first of all check if this location exists or not okay ls hyphen lrt yes so this location exists all our data files are already there i'm creating this table space we have created a table space now we are creating a user TB test identified by TB test and also we will alter this user by making the new table space as the default table space for this user so that any tables or anything created by this user will reside in this table space great the user has been altered now we have to grant select on scott.emp to this user so that we create an employee table from scott.emp with this user great now we are connecting as test okay i think we have to grant connect slash sstba grant connect comma resource to tb test okay now we'll be able to connect with this user let us grant connect comma source to tb test now we'll create a table as employee and select the data from scott.employee with the user tb test table created right we can select from the employee table this is our local employee table right now take armen backup for the activity just for the purpose of the activity we are taking a backup using armen okay so exit armen target slash catalog armen rc armen rc at the rate rcat okay i think this location is not available mkdir hyphen p mkdir hyphen p is equal to armen backup prod db okay now let us run the armen backup again great the armen backup has been completed now what you need to do is check the size of the current database and make sure you have a destination with the same size if you don't have a destination on the same server then this activity won't be possible so sql plus slash ssdba now see the database size is 2 gb just make sure you have a space of 2 gb in any location where where armen will clone this database and automatically perform export and import so we'll check df-h we see good free space in root and our slash u02 is again mounted on root so we don't have to worry now drop the table space and start table space point in time recovery so what steps we have done we have created a new table space created a user created a table inside the table space we have taken the database backup and now we are dropping the table space and also after dropping we will try to recover this table space via armen and see if we can recover because once the control file is updated you won't be able to recover the table space so we'll drop this table space sql plus slash ssdba great table space has been dropped okay now even if you try to connect with this user and check select star from emp right table or view does not exist because the 
table space has been dropped. Now over here I would stop and I would actually go to rman target slash catalog rman rc rman rc at the rate rcat. Now see restore table space tbpitr. Now what are we seeing? Table space not found in the recovery catalog because your control file has already been updated that this table space does not belong. Even though we have the backup, we already have the backup but you will not be able to restore because it is cleared from your control file. So how to recover in such cases? Okay, we'll continue. SQL plus slash as sysdba. Now select name from v dollar table space. Of course we don't have the table space name in this one because we have deleted the table space right. Now we can check the alert log for table space drop time and note the point in time recovery. We'll do show parameter back. So we have background dumb destination this is the alert log. We'll go to this location now tail hyphen 100 alert underscore prod db dot log. Now you can see drop table space tbpitr including contents and data files. We have this date and time. So just record this date and time. This is the date and time at which this command was issued. So what we will do is we will just take it one second above like it was 54 we make it 53 and we will restore this table till uh, sorry restore this table space till this time right now what you can do is connect to rman and start the recovery i will connect to rman rman target slash catalog rman rc rman rc and then it rcat right now this is the run block. There are two options you can restore the table space until time or until SCN. Anything is fine. In our case we have the time so we'll go with the time. So the command is run recover table space tbpitr until time. You have to give the time over here. So it is 16 Jan. 17 and time is 11 0 1 53 right now this auxiliary destination this will automatically create the clone instance in this location export the table space from the clone instance import it back into your production database and automatically Armin will clean this auxiliary destination also or your clone instance. Let us create this location onto the server. I'll exit mkdir-p slash u02 aux test. You can have any destination but just make sure you have good space in that destination. Let us connect back to Armin. We are connected and we'll run this command. Right, hit enter. Now can you see creating automatic instance with SID FECO. Automatically Armand decides one dummy instance name. It will start the instance. It will restore all your data files. It will create a database and after creating a database, the database will be created as per this time. So how your production database was at this time, it will create. And at this point of time, the table space was available inside the database. Then it will export the table space, import it into the production. And can you see all the files are being restored to user to aux destination. And this one data file, nothing but table space point in time recovery is being restored to the original location where it was. Now recovery is being performed. For expdp, the Armen script is creating a directory inside the database so that it can take the export. Now export has started. 
from the clone instance. It is exporting the table space and it is using this option of transportable table spaces. Can you see shutdown clone before import? Now clone instance is being shut down database closed, database dismounted, performing import of metadata. Now the table space is being imported back into your production server. IMPDP utility has started. Now see, auxiliary instance file deleted. All the files which were used for your auxiliary instances under U02 aux destination have been deleted. That means Armand created an instance, exported, imported, shut down the clone instance, cleaned off all the files and it is saying finished recovery. Let us exit. We'll just check ps-ef grep pmon and only one database is running. The clone database is not running. Right. Now we can check the status of the table space once again. Sorry, SQL plus slash SSTBA. Now see, we have this TBPITR, but it is an offline state. We need to bring this table space to online because after recovery, Armin will not bring it online. It has to be done manually by the DBA. Alter table space TBPITR online. Just bring the table space online. And then once again, check the status. It is online, right? Now, the user that we have created earlier, this user, right, will connect with this user and check if we are able to query from the table or not. Yes, we are able to query. So this is an activity where if a table space is dropped, you don't need to perform entire database point in time recovery. You can eventually perform table space point in time recovery.